おはよう、はじめまして、私はキーラです。Hello, happy night, this is my Chinese New Year video for you guys. I am currently vlogging in my cute little Hail Miyazaki Totoro hat. I got it for Hungry Ghost Festival, it's so cute. It had a little pause. Anyhow, I wanted to talk about Hopper and holidays. Like, for instance, if you, I don't know about if you feel me, you have Chinese, Mongolian, Jordan, and Dutch roots. And they are all like mixed together in a beautiful way for every hopper. And it's just the holidays come, and suddenly you're in the middle of it all. This big crisis. <gasps> You don't know really who you are anymore. You don't know if you're Asian or if you're white or if you're something else. Do you make your own category? Do you just pick one side? What do you do? Um, well, for all my life, I have been basically, I've been, I'm not gonna lie to you people, I'm gonna be totally honest, top of United. I've picked either one race or the other. I'm not saying there's anything with being white or mixed or anything. I really like being mixed now, but I'm still gonna use the thing that it was weird. And I would try to uh, dye my hair brown for a very short period of time. And I would wear like all this ridiculous, like eye enlarging makeup. Like, I know how to do so many different ways to make your eyes look so much bigger. But I really, really should stop doing that. I, mean, I haven't really done it in a while. But I still sort of do it sometimes. But I have always thought that if I picked one, then I would instantly be accepted in that category and no one would have to worry about me or anything anymore. I would have to be like alone or weird. But I realized that it doesn't work like that. Hobbits are born with the. You have to. You can't just pick a side. I mean, you could, I guess, but unless you, if you looked really, really one thing. And it's just, you have to stay as you are, you have to be who you want. I mean, like, we have the Hungry Ghost Festival, we have China the Year, uh, um, which actually is on February 10th of this year. But this video is going to be uploaded on February 6th, so it's a little bit before, but I've already had most of my celebration. And why is that exactly? Why have I had my celebration before every other person who has Chinese New Year? Well, since I'm home, well, my my family, who is white, gave me my Christmas presents. And then my family in Asia gives me my Chinese New Year presents a little bit early. I mean, they like to give me some, most of them, or at least some of them, like to like, tide me over or something. I don't know. <laughs> because I guess they sort of feel bad that I'm getting so much from my other half of the family that I'm not getting anything from them. And so they just sort of like balance, they decide to pay balance out and pick up the day. So yeah, that's what we do. Um, so I get Chinese money, I get Asian gifts like this hat, which is really cute, I love it. Um, or I get things like my cell phone or... Hmm, or something else, you know, it's just I'm not saying that you can't give these gifts to your kids if you're Asian or whatever. But I just when I go from white side, very stereotypical white gifts like gift cards and stuff, just things like that and like lip gloss and things like that. And it's just it's kind of weird for us as hoppers because we have so much to sort of think about as a hopper, like what your race is, what you are, those things like that. I mean, I know when Christmas comes around and I go to England or my relatives who are like visit me or my or like when Eid Dilala my or visit my Middle Eastern relatives I just sort of feel out of place. Like where do I fit in? And then we and I finally realised that we don't really fit in any one place. We're everything at once, we represent everyone as a whole and we're just different. And I still have had to find it took me a long time to come to terms with that and start to respect myself for what I was. And 
you know the whole day is supposed to be fun and exciting and everything but it was just stressful for me because I didn't know where I was or where I felt <laughs> so I mean that's just what I did I mean I, I tried to be something I wasn't and I tried to do all these things to fit into a category that I was like category that I realized I didn't even want to be in in the first place and now I'm just Kira and that's where I stand today so for all you hobos out there who are having a bit of identity crisis because of the whole holidays thing or just like an identity crisis because you don't it's, you're getting older and you don't really know what you are I mean like I mean I'm trying to say that you have to be a hopper, be a hopper dude or girl or be a hopper. Be what you are, be who you are, do what you like and don't let anyone else tell you that it's wrong because you're being different. Because different is better. And just to let you know, we help us get way more presents than everyone else because we have more than one holiday. Thanks for watching. Please leave any questions, comments, suggestions or video ideas in the comment box below and I'll make sure to get back to everyone that I can. Thank you so much for watching and uh, Merry New Year, Christmas, Eid al-Hala, Ponza, Hanukkah or anything else you celebrate. Bye!